The gated recurrent unit offered a streamlined version of the long short-term memory cell that often achieves comparable performance, but with the advantage of being faster to compute. GRU aims to solve the vanishing gradient problem which comes with a standard recurrent neural network. To solve the vanishing gradient problem of a standard RNN, GRU uses so-called update gate and reset gate. Basically, these are two vectors which decide what information should be passed to the output. The special thing about them is that they can be trained to keep information from long ago, without washing it through time or remove information which is irrelevant to the prediction. The update gate helps the model to determine how much of the past information needs to be passed along to the future. That is really powerful because the model can decide to copy all the information from the past and eliminate the risk of vanishing gradient problem. The input to the update gate is the hidden layer at the previous time step and the current input both have their weights associated with them which are learned during the training process. Finally results are added together and a sigmoid activation function is applied to squash the result between 0 and 1. A reset gate identifies the unnecessary information and decides what information to be laid off from the GRU network. Simply put, it decides what information to delete at the specific timestamp. The input to the reset gate is the hidden layer at the previous time step and the current input both have their weights associated with them which are learned during the training process. Finally results are added together and a sigmoid activation function is applied to squash the result between 0 and 1. It is important to note that the weights associated with the hidden layer at the previous time step and the current input are different for both gates. The values for these weights are learned during the training process, calculating the output by using these two gates. We use these two gates to calculate the final output of GRU. A new memory location is created that stores the information from the past using the reset gate. We multiply the current input by its weight and hidden layer at the previous with weight. We then calculate the Hadamard product, the element-wise product between the output of the reset gate. We then take the sum and apply the tan activation function. As the last step, the network needs to calculate vector which holds information for the current unit and passes it down to the network. In order to do that the update gate is needed. It determines what to collect from the current memory content and what from the previous steps. That is done as follows. First, apply element-wise multiplication to the update gate and previous hidden layer. Second, apply element-wise multiplication to one update gate and current memory function. Third, sum the results from step 1 and 2. In summary, reset gates help capture short-term dependencies and sequences. Update gates help capture long-term dependencies and sequences. GRU uses less memory and is faster than LSTM. However, LSTM is more accurate when using datasets with longer sequences. Also, GRUs address the vanishing gradient problem from which vanilla recurrent neural networks suffer.